Hey, what's up, guys? Talk Movies with us here, back again for yet another end of the month <laughs> Blu ray haul slash Disney Steelbook unboxings slash mail call. We got oh, a, a few boxes here to, you know, unbox and stuff. Oh, man. And. Before we start this video off, I just gotta crack open a nice ice cold Crystal Pepsi, courtesy of LA Beast. Obviously, you've heard of him. He's the best YouTube channel in the history of YouTube channels. I've even started watching. Just in him. case, if you haven't, go check him out. LA Beast is a man, and he brought back this classic. Oh my gosh! Crystal Pepsi, just refreshing, right? Completely refreshing. It's weird. It's a weird thing because it tastes like Pepsi, but it's clear. Your mind definitely plays tricks on you. Ah, so good. I'm Thank you, LA Beast, for that. Drink my monster. There you go. We got quite a stack in front of us. This is going to be a long video, so you should definitely have some snacks. Maybe grab a Crystal Pepsi. There you go. Maybe even a monster to keep you awake during our boring rant. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> and let's talk about Patreon real quick. Patreon. We have to announce some of our newest Patreon members. Yes, we do have a few. We have... Tommy BLC fan. We have Rafe Webb. I hope I pronounced that right. Sorry. And we have Kyle McGuire, who is a big member of our Facebook group. Yes, and we mention this all the time, but links will be in the description. Come join in on all the fun on Facebook. Yes, but we do want to thank you guys for joining our, you know, Patreon army, I guess you could say. We do have a long-awaited Patreon review coming out this week for a Rocky Horror Picture Show, which is going to be a fun one. And... I do have some goodies I'm gathering up for some of our Patreon members, so, you know, definitely join in on the fun if you want to, but we do always appreciate the support from you guys just watching our videos, liking them, subscribing, all that fun stuff. Yeah, I mean, we're approaching 10,000 subs, yes. which is pretty nuts. It is crazy. Pretty nuts. We still can't believe it. What are we doing? <laughs> it's like a year and a half or so. Yeah. And, and just the continued support is insane, and we do not take it lightly, so thank you guys so much for that. It's still a weird thing to us that people, like, watch our videos and like to hear us kind of ramble on. And we've been getting recognized a little bit. We got recognized in our local theater once. Oh, yeah, over the summer, some kid was like, hey, he was giving us our popcorn. He's like, I love your videos. Yeah, so shout out to you, dude, if you <laughs> still care to watch us. And FYE, we had some, you know, yeah, some somebody. Yeah. So, yeah. So thank you. That's so, really awesome. You yeah. know, I might act really awkward. It's just because I'm not, you know, used, not used to that. To we're, we're, yeah. <laughs> Enough of the rambling. Again, we thank you for the support as always. Now, let's get the show on the road. What you guys all came here for to talk about some of our latest pickups. Yes, I will start us off because my pile's slightly larger. Uh, first thing we have is Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3. This is the last season of Ash vs. Evil Dead, and I did do an unboxing for the Steelbook with the Deadpool Steelbook, and I'm really excited to watch this last season. I watched the first season, part of the second season, so I'm just going to probably rewatch everything. Yeah, we did watch the first season. I think we need to catch up on the last two. Yeah, but very excited. It's a good show, and I'm really sad to see it yeah. kind of end. It was but... a lot of fun, and it was one of those shows I'm actually surprised didn't get immediately picked up. You know? Oh, I know. You get random shows that get canceled and immediately picked up by another network or Netflix. Like, Netflix one, has the most random crap on it now. Like, I feel like they can they make anything a show. Like, you could call up Netflix with an idea for a show, <laughs> and it'll just pop episode. up on Netflix because there's so much junk on there. Some of it's really good. Some of it's really good. Yeah. Some of it's definitely questionable. I do think that Bruce Campbell kind of stated that he kind of wanted to end Retire Ash. Ash. Yeah, you just want to retire it and kind of be done with it. But do appreciate that there was even a show about it because I love Evil Dead. I think that that's yeah. probably one of my favorite horror movies. For sure. So, all right. Next one. <laughs> Next up, we have Truth or Dare. I did pick this up in the 2 for 22 sale. So, I didn't pay full price for it. What you guys will learn to know if you are in our Facebook group, we have a guy by the name of Brian King. <laughs> and this is actually one of his all-time favorite films. So, <laughs> you know, he just persuaded us to watch it. He told me so, that I needed to buy it. It was an absolute must -watch. It was like one of his top five films of all time. So... You know, shout out to you, Brian King. We picked this one up for you, and... We're totally kidding, by the way. So don't find him on no, Facebook. No, we're not. And... No, we're not. Don't threaten him. 
don't do that. But anyway, I watched this movie. It's bad. And I think that this movie didn't really know what it wanted to be, whether it wanted to be a comedy or if it wanted to be a serious horror movie. I think the concept is good. And if they really did have a serious, you know, backing on it, they could have made it into a good horror movie. Or they could have went the route of it making it a horror comedy and it could have worked. But it was all over the place. But it's Blumhouse. We got yeah. Blumhouse. Is all of a sudden now Blumhouse is like a horror cult studio. Like, mm -hmm. what have they really done that warrants them to plaster on every movie Blumhouse? Like, From the producer of. Get out. whoop de doo No one cares. Oh, okay. Um, all wow. right. Who's going? All right. Next I'll, I'll do another one. Go ahead. All right. Another one that I picked up was Marrowbone. I did pick up the 4K because it was only $2 more than the regular Blu-ray. And I watched half of this movie on my Fire TV and then my stream went out. So I decided to pick it up, but I haven't finished it. I did like the first half of it, though. It's it's definitely uh, an interesting yeah, little movie. You'll uh, resume that second half no, I'll just one of these it. days. Oh, okay. I'll rewatch it one of these days. All right. Go ahead. Go one more. Go one more. In, in, the, Blumhouse. Blumhouse. in the Blumhouse. In the Blumhouse. Another Blumhouse classic. We have Happy Death Day, which was the other movie I picked up in the two for 22. And I wasn't... We weren't... I didn't care for this at all. A huge fan of this the first time we watched it. But... I have heard, you know, a lot of people really like this movie, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it another shot. One of the biggest disappointments of this movie, and it's not a spoiler alert, but the trailer got you all pumped up for 50 Cent. <laughs> and the movie... I like how you're so disappointed. And the movie just it. totally, like... I don't know what they call a blindfold. You hijacked the song from the movie. They couldn't afford the rights to it. It wasn't her ringtone. But also, who, who like, creates a ringtone just for their birthday? Yeah, they should have used the 50 Cent song, but... <laughs> anyway, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna rewatch it. I'm going to give it another shot, and hopefully I will enjoy it. Okay, now we're going to keep this Blumhouse thing going. But this is a good Blumhouse. This was... Now, this is fantastic. This is... I can understand them plastering you know, from the makers of Upgrade, Blumhouse, this and that. Upgrade. This movie was freaking awesome. I watched it last night. I watched it for the second time. It was so good. I was like, George, you need to watch this movie. Logan Marshall Green. You know what? Call him a poor man's Tom Hardy if you want to, but he was He's great better in this than movie. Tom. He's the Tom Hardy that never got that mainstream comic book role. If he got one of those roles, then he would be a household name. This guy is freaking awesome. And I'm going to give a shout out to a show that he was in called Quarry. That oh, yeah, show, you say that. it's it got really like good. one season, I think it got canceled, but it was really good. And even if you guys just watch that one season, it concludes. Like it's, it's like a long movie, but he's fantastic in it. And this movie is going to make my top 10 this year. It was freaking awesome. It was great. It was definitely not a movie I was kind of expecting it to be the way it was. I didn't really read up too much. I just, I went up based on the fact that everybody else was really loving this movie. I was like, all right, we're going to pick it up. And I had such a great time with it. I mean, this yeah. it was so well directed, and he was great. Yeah. I, like, I went into this movie not knowing a thing about it, mm -hmm. and I was just pleasantly surprised. I think that's the best way to do it. Like, if you haven't seen this movie and you don't know much about yeah. it, I highly recommend you blind buy it or rent it or whatever, but watch it. Don't read up on it. Yeah, really I haven't good. even seen a trailer for it, and I was just like, Damn, that was so <laughs> awesome. And and guys, I went on my little rant saying that this actor never got a mainstream, you know, movie. Well, he was movie. in Prometheus. He was, now, I'm reading the back. I know he was in Prometheus, but Spider-Man Homecoming, it says he was in. I yeah. Did, I don't remember him in that movie. I it's hated very, that movie. Well, it was a very small role, but he's also in The Invitation, yeah. which I really like that movie. But anywho, if he was best friends with Christopher Nolan, he would have a... He would have Tom Hardy's career, just put it that way. But anywho, that's <laughs> that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he unfortunately doesn't have, you know, Chris Nolan as his BFF. So, doesn't have him know. on speed dial. Yeah, yeah, so. I wish I did. But he, he's going to blow up because he's awesome. Mm. But next up we got, um, I don't know what this movie really is. I, I haven't really heard of it. It's called Avengers Infinity War. This was a total blind buy for us. We hear nothing about it. <laughs> yeah, no. This movie was really, really good. Josh Brolin, mm -hmm. of course, as Thanos was friggin' badass this is just this probably movie, one of the yeah. best avengers films definitely one of the better superhero movies i've ever seen i mean this one not only has great action but it hits you in the feels but i don't <laughs> i never understood that let me go on a little rant go here. ahead 
Here we Why go. was I'm everyone, everyone's like, oh, this is the first like comic book movie or whatever that made me really feel so emotional. Why were you so emotional? You guys know that these people are signed on for like another 10 films, right? Not all of Why them. Why are you getting emotional? No, like, like because... did you buy that when they were like turning into ads? Like I was like, oh, they'll be back next year. <laughs> like what are you sad about? Like, no, because it's been this buildup for the last 10 years. And it's they'll be not back even, in the next movie. But it's not so much the, it's not so much the movie itself but like we had this build up for 10 years of all these movies all these storylines and then to see it all kind of unfold in front of you people were just anticipating the movie it was an emotional movie you're just not a huge Until superhero next time. i am but fan but it wasn't like you know next up we have the latest in the dc animated movies we have the death of superman i did watch superman doomsday because that was the first one on my list and this one uh is supposed to be obviously the similar story of the death of superman so i'm excited to actually see this hopefully they kind of go into more detail because doomsday that was my biggest complaint is that i feel like it was way too rushed for a 90 minute movie or whatever so excited to watch that eventually once I make my way through the rest of them. <laughs> Heard good things about it though. Heard yeah. really good things about it. Definitely. Uh, next up we have the It's Alive trilogy, Scream Factory. We did have this at Best Buy and it was only 25 bucks. So I definitely picked it up. Obviously I haven't opened it. I'm planning on watching these in October for my, you know, big horror marathon that I will be partaking in and uh, excited to watch them. I've never seen them, but David Clayton says they're fun movies <laughs> <laughs> and then next up we have akira which is obviously a very well-known anime and i have not seen this one yet i know it's like one of those staple animes you need to watch but that's why i bought it next up we got a film called revenge now this was another blind buy for us this is one i didn't know what to expect going in and <laughs> All right, it's definitely like <laughs> off the wall, batshit crazy, ridiculous, but it was a lot of fun and a really good time. This one, yeah, I watched this one twice also. I watched this one and then, you know, over the weekend when he was finally off of work, I was like, you need to watch this movie, so work, I'm going to watch it again. 60 hours a week. It's great. <laughs> Thanks, UPS. This movie was so much fun. It's so well directed. I mean, you really have to suspend <laughs> reality yes, and believe. Yes, like, suspend disbelief for sure. Yes, because it is. It has one of the most, like, <laughs> unlikely things a person could come back from yeah i <laughs> mean leave it at that it's a total bloodbath i will is. say that it's gory i mean it's half in french half in you know english it's great though it's i will so say i'm gonna make a bold statement this this woman right here is gonna be the next margot robbie i think she I don't think so. she is nice i definitely <laughs> i definitely would like to nice. see her in more movies you do Me get to too. see her with less clothes in this movie uh, so. Very well done. Good cinematography on that front. If you don't really know about this movie, it is one of those revenge movies where the you know the oh, girl it comes is? back to kick. It is. Oh, yeah. it is a revenge movie. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like I spit on your grave. You know, she comes back for revenge. Does she? <laughs> All right. Speaking of really, really just freaking, you know, crazy stuff here. We got First Reformed. Now this is a really, really deep emotionally moving. spiritual movie it's it was very good um it's one of those that kind of leaves you like what the hell is happening but you could kind of piece it together and just good performances all around i fucking loved this movie really that's strong yeah it is really, strong really i it, really huh? did love that movie i mean first of all i say this a lot but the cinematography in this movie is fucking perfect yeah it is so well done it's so well shot it's so beautiful i was just so immersed in the whole story i mean i'm always interested in like these religious stories i'm a little crazy like that but it was just so well done ethan hawk was great in yeah this. He's, you know he might make some strange he's, statements he's one of those characters in this movie that uh his character is a lot darker than uh than you see on the surface. Yeah, I mean, and the movie was... has a lot of layers. Definitely recommend it if you haven't watched it. A24 is pushing out some amazing stuff right yeah, now. Yeah, it was, it was definitely, a, you know, a good watch. It was a good watch. Loved it. I'll go one you more. You go one more? I'll go one more. <laughs> we got, this is, this movie's all news, but it's one of my favorite films. And it's one an of, upgrade. One of my favorite war films of all time, and that is Hacksaw Ridge. 
Mel Gibson is back with this film. He does a fantastic job directing, man. And it's just, I loved it. I absolutely love this film. I'll recommend it to anybody. And this was actually the first time I watched it. We did buy that. We have the steel book already, but we were like, let's upgrade this to 4K. We should have done that in the beginning, but oh my God. This movie really surprised me. I mean, you raved about it. My parents watched it before I did and they were like, oh, it's so good. You know, it's so gory. I mean, it is a powerful movie. Absolutely. I mean, you just, you feel for him so much in this. And, and like, Andrew Garfield is fantastic. Everyone plays their roles perfectly. You, you grow attached to all the people in this movie and it's just, I, you know, everyone's seen this by now, but it's one of my favorite war films of all time. One of my favorite films of all time. It'll probably be in my top 10 of all time. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely I'm, love it. I'm not a huge war movie person, but I I would highly recommend it. Definitely, you know, get you totally invested. So, because I don't have enough copies of this movie. <laughs> Yet another edition of... Fight Club! Uh -huh. We did get... Best Buy got the steelbook that Zavi had and I'm really glad that I didn't spend the money to import it over from Zavi because this was $12.99 at Best Buy. You probably can still find it because it's on like an end cap with all the Predator stuff but this steelbook is so beautiful. You can see it's already in plastic. Gotta protect and it. I can never have too many you know editions of this movie. I absolutely love it. The artwork on this though is by far my favorite so far. So awesome. So Fight Club. Next up, we have a movie that we found at FYE for like three bucks, and it's something I've been on the hunt for, and that's Eyes Wide Shut. Stanley Kubrick, Nicole Kidman, Tom Cruise. We've kind of been on a Tom Cruise buying kick. Yeah. We haven't seen this one yet. We were going to watch it one night, but we realized that the movie is almost three hours yeah, long. Yeah, we saw the runtime. It was like 159 minutes, and it was around like <laughs> nine o'clock at night. We're, we're like, like, okay, we'll we save this finishing for another this. <laughs> We need to wake up on like a Sunday morning yeah, and put it on when put, we wake put up. A, put a pot of coffee on. <laughs> After and, uh, we have, yeah. <laughs> you know. So excited to watch it. You know, I've heard really great things about it. I heard it's, you know, batshit crazy, so. As well, Stanley Kubrick's very good at. Yeah, and this was uh, his last movie. Mm -hmm. So, all right, next up. This movie had to be absolutely upgraded to 4K. <clears throat> you know, like, all the movies we can't get on Blu-ray, all the g awesome, great films we can't get on Blu-ray, let alone 4K. And, like, why? <laughs> Van Wilder, why? 4K. But I... So the reason why I did buy this in 4K because a lot of people are going to be like, why the fuck? Well, you're you you're this? a fan of the cinematography. I, oh, I it's yeah. shot so beautifully. <laughs> Especially the scenes when Ryan Reynolds doesn't have a shirt on. But anyway, the Blu-ray for this, the Blu-ray for this has an awful uh, transfer. Transfer. The you know characters are waxy looking. It's very glazed over. And this, you know, they restored it to its natural film. And I will say, it's very dark. And for me to say that, and we have a Samsung TV, which Samsungs are naturally very bright. You know. But it's better, I would rather it be dark than glazed over. So, okay. you know what? If so you, it's a lose-lose. It wasn't awful. <sighs> it wasn't awful. I mean, what can you do? The movie had such a low budget, so it wasn't even... But you know what? I would like Ryan Reynolds' comedy to get a Blu-ray or a 4K, but... Oh, that's true. It doesn't even have a Blu-ray. I just want Friends. just Friends. I, yeah. I've said this a bunch. It's probably my favorite... Ryan Reynolds movie. I'm not even lying. I love that movie. That's a good movie. And I mean, Jamie maybe, Palomino. Maybe this will spark a, a Ryan Reynolds. Come on, Ryan Reynolds. Let's go. I, mean, I don't think Ryan Reynolds has control over Dusty what... Dinkleman. <laughs> Come on, that movie's so great. It's a good Christmas movie, too. So, hmm. uh, to conclude our Van Wilder 4K talk, if you don't own the Blu ray yet, it's, it's worth just grabbing this for the fact that you can watch it as it's supposed to be seen you know, and filmed. If you're as passionate about Van Wilder as she is. This movie is hilarious. We need a Malibu's Most Wanted Blu-ray. We need so much more. I know, you're so right. Much more. There's a lot so of movies more. that haven't been put out. And you know, let me just go because we're on a Ryan Reynolds kick. I'll go one oh, and then okay, you go. Yeah. go ahead. We got Deadpool 2. Awesome movie. I think I might like it better than the first. I'm not sure. They're very even for me. I just rewatched it too. We rewatched re it. it. And um... I don't, my only complaint is there's a really annoying kid actor in it that I feel like It's he a mini Rebel Wilson. I felt like he shouldn't have been the main focus 
and that was the one thing that probably dragged this movie down was the annoying kid. But every other aspect of this movie I really did enjoy and the jokes are on par, they're all awesome. And probably the things that even make this movie are the after credit scenes. Oh, for they sure. Are... This definitely has one of the best after credit scenes I've ever seen. Absolutely. Like, just so great. And uh, we did watch the super duper cut. It is quite different. You know, I think it's about 15 minutes longer. There's some added scenes. Some music changes. Music changes, different dialogue. So it's, it's it's very different, so I definitely recommend watching both of them. You know, but, uh, let us know which one you like better. It's good stuff. You know, love the Deadpool films. They're so good. They're so good. It's, it's what we wanted. It was a raunchy, rated R. And I don't know, you know why companies would be so scared to release rated R comic book films after the success of Logan, after the success of Deadpool, Deadpool. 2, and then you hear all this stuff with New Mutants, so what the hell is going on with that? Rated R, PG-3, what are they scared? Rated R is profitable as, as all hell right now. Like, what it are they is. scared of? And you know what? Parents are gonna, if they want to bring their kids no to see it, they're gonna anymore. bring their what kids to What are you worried about? Your kids are seeing more crap on their phones nowadays. They're not worried about a couple of F-bombs in a freaking rated R comic book movie. Yeah, so we'll see. I mean, I'm not sure what they're doing with Venom yet, or if they're making it rated PG-13 or rated R. I, I think that they sh really should go the rated R route, just because Venom is... You know, he's he's not a... He's not a Disney he's character. He's not a cookie cutter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's not a Disney character. But anyway. Anywho. All right, next up we have Ex Machina. And I did upgrade from the regular Blu-ray to the 4K. And I still haven't even watched the movie. But it was part of a sale. So I was like, all right, why not? Let's pick this up. I am going to watch this soon just because I, I did come off of watching Annihilation. And I love that movie. It's definitely... It probably might even make my top 10 of the year. So I'm definitely excited to watch. I know I'm a little late to the game, but definitely excited for that. And speaking of sales, because you're you're a sucker for sales. I am a sucker for sales, and every year Best Buy does a TV sale with the TV shows, and every year some show gets me. Last year I bought, I caught up and bought all of the American Horror Story seasons. No pun intended, but sales. Black sales was on sale. Yeah, so you spend fifty dollars, you get a ten dollar gift card. So I did pick up Black Sales season one, season two. Season three, and don't look at it because it doesn't have a slip yet. Season four. Now we're going to do our Sarah McLaughlin sad puppy face. If you have a slip <laughs> that you don't want. Slip covers for the poor. Contact us. <laughs> No, if you do come across the lenticular slipcover for this, I'd be more than happy to, you know, shoot you a couple bucks if you could just grab one for me because this is so sad. These are all these lenticular beautiful covers and we have... And figure the latest season doesn't have one. <laughs> it's very... Well, you know why? It's because these are like in little like box sets almost. And, and they, they cheaped out the last season. Yeah, there is a complete collection coming out and I do realize this and I knew it before I bought these, but how can you say no to lenticular covers? Yeah. I did watch the first season of this show and I really like it so one of these it's days produced by michael bay so i'm in, i'm interested yeah i think you'll like it i mean there's sex there's Just pirates sex pirates boobs. boobies and pirates right what's better than that and michael bay yeah so explosions all that's missing is a coked out johnny depp and i'm on <laughs> and i'm on board uh yeah. no this is probably no. what pirates of the caribbean probably uh. should have been no this is like a uh a prequel to treasure island so yeah. okay all right so oh go ahead you can mention okay. that. And the last one in my pile was sent to us from one of our good pals, Mike, a.k.a. Dr. Movie 91. He sent us a bunch of little goodies. Some, uh, yeah, show We it. have them, the perler beads, the, sh the poop, and the mermaid back there. If you Shit can see list. them. They're covering the doves that Craigie gave us because Craigie's on our shit list. Yeah. So. But he also threw this in there, which was super nice of him. Dazed and Confused, of course, of all time classic by Richard Linklater. And we did a whole video covering this stuff, so go check it out. But guys, go sub to Dr. Movie 91. Super nice guy. Yes, and just he's has awesome. a great collection. Great so channel. If you're into all this movie stuff, I mean, you go right over there and, you know, have a ball because he's got some good vids out there. So. All right, what do we got next? I do want to throw in a little a little tidbit here because I feel like on every video, every haul video, we get at least one comment asking about our plastic slipcover protector things, movie protectors. I'll put a link in the description. We get them off Amazon. We buy them DVD size because otherwise the... The Blu-ray ones just fit the actual Blu-ray. They don't fit any kind of slipcover yeah, or Yeah, they only book. fit these cases, really. They don't fit anything with a slipcover uh, or let alone like a steel book with a slipcover on it. It won't fit. So we buy the DVD-sized ones. I'll throw a link in the description so that we don't get 100 comments asking, which yes. we might anyway, but... 
That's okay. We will anyway. It's inevitable. So now we have some unboxings, and we will start off with two Disney Steelbooks that came out yesterday, so okay, it's September. But instead of doing a separate unboxing video, we figured we would just throw it in the, in the haul video. Why not, right? So we have the Hocus Pocus Limited Edition Steelbook. And we also have the Nightmare Before Christmas Glow in the Dark Steelbook. I already own this movie, but who like doesn't want a Glow in the Dark Steelbook of this? And I don't own Hocus Pocus yet, so we're excited. I'm gonna open these up though. Let's open them up. And the Hocus Pocus artwork, that's just creepy as all hell. I, I thought know. it immediately reminded me of the original Jeepers Creepers poster. You are absolutely right. It does look like that. It is cool, though, because it is embossed. That is actually really cool. So, I mean, I'll try to get... I mean, take away the Disney logo. You would not think this is a Disney movie. Yeah. Like, from just from the steelbook, that looks freaking... That's it horrifying. Is. The movie is it's not good, but it's a it's a cult classic at this point. Wasn't it like a Disney Channel original movie? Like, I don't even think it got a theatrical release. I might be wrong on that, but... Uh, you know what? I honestly don't know. I just know that they play it so much on Freeform or ABC Family, whatever you want to call it nowadays. But I'll show you guys without the J card on it. So we have, here it is. I'll try to get some of the embossing on it. That's really awesome. Here it is opened up. So it's like this spell book. And then the inside with the disc. And I do believe this, because this is an anniversary edition, it does have some more special features than the original one. But I don't know because I don't own the first Blu-ray. So that's pretty cool. That's a really nice steel book. Unfortunately, these are seem to be pretty limited. So hopefully if you did want one, you did get it. I know a lot of stores were hesitant about selling them because the street date was yesterday, the second, and they you know, people are like, "Oh, well my store told me because movies only come out on Tuesdays." No, they don't come out only on Tuesdays. Every once in yeah. a while they come Might out have on Sundays. Might confused some of the uh employees. <laughs> yeah. But so that's the Hocus Pocus one and then we have the Nightmare Before Christmas one, which is one of my favorites. And it is glow in the dark. So I'll post a picture on our Instagram of it glowing. I'm, we're not going to shut the lights off here. Too lazy. Man, they just got glue all over these things. So here is the front. Obviously, Jack Skellington. And on the back, we have Sally. And this actually glows as well. Oh, I like the inside of it. Here is the inside of the disc. Take the disc out real quick. And here's the inside without the discs. That's awesome. This is a great steel book. And here it is all opened up. This kind of has like the embossing that the uh, European... The UK steel books yeah, have, yeah. That's really cool. So very simple, but adorable. I love this. I love this movie. I can't wait to watch it soon. I will watch it in October. Is it a Halloween movie or is it a Christmas movie? Answer down the below. The world may never know. No, I'm just kidding. It's great. All right, so those are quick unboxings of those. All right, so now it's time for some mail calls. We got some awesome packages sent to us from various friends and members of our group. This one we have is from David Rosales. We have one from McMenamin, Michael McMenamin, who is one of our mods and active members of our group, and David Clayton. So we know we're gonna get some weird all horror legends, movies. All <laughs> legends, all legends in the talk movies with us group. Yeah, so come join our group if you're not a part of it. We we do have a really great group of people. It's a lot of, of fun, it is definitely, it's a lot yeah. of fun bullshit and no whatnot. All right, so this I'm gonna open first. David Rosales reached out to me. They, he sent us something and he actually forgot to include the note. So he sent it separately. We we're gonna open that up first. All right, and so he included a little note. Dear Ashley and George, my name is David and I'm a member of your guys' Facebook group, Talk Movies With Us. Also, I'm a subscriber of your YouTube channel. I am sending you guys this VHS of Stan Lee and Kevin Smith. I can't remember if you guys have this movie in your collection, but I know this VHS will have a good home. And finally, I just want to say thank you for all the great videos you put out. They are amazing and, and speak to me on a personal level. My YouTube channel is SuperLazy87, and I don't make YouTube videos. So... Thank you. All right, thanks All right, for the that... letter, David. Now, we are always into collecting any kind of media, VHS or whatnot, so. Yeah. Here, we'll open this up one more. What do you got? What do you got? Box in a bag. Let's see what we got. Oh, there it is. Watch out. All right. What do we Stanley's, got? Oh, that's awesome. Stanley's Mutants, Monsters, and Marvels with filmmaker Kevin Smith. Look at Kevin Smith on this. Wow. Two, that's wow, that's pretty awesome. Two complete features, Creating Spider-Man and Here Come the Heroes. And it's one of those double VHS 
tapes. That is so cool. Look at this. Honestly. All the days of VHS. You know what's pretty cool? Like I've never I've never seen I've this. I've never seen this or heard of it. I yeah. mean that's pretty that's pretty awesome. That is so cool. I mean Stanley's inside scoop on Spider Man the movie. That's pretty awesome. That's a young Kevin Smith right there. Two thousand and two. Wow. But wow, VHSs were still around then. That might that was probably the, the end of the end. VHS. That's pretty sweet. I love that it's got I love two it. though. This is awesome. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much. It's definitely like one of those things we get that's like, you know, it's like it's cool seeing stuff that you've never heard of or never seen. Never heard or seen, know? yeah. So I'm really, I'm glad to add this to the collection. It's Thank you so awesome. much, David. Thank you. We'll, we'll try to throw it in our background somewhere. Yes, yes. It's pretty awesome. Stan Lee, Kevin Smith. I'm down. Oh, yeah. Sold. Now we just need to find the VHS player. <laughs> I think I might have one at my mom's house somewhere. <laughs> gotta go dig it up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, David. Thank you. And do we go to the other, do we go to David first or McMenamin? Let's do McMenamin. McMenamin. I just want to say that he always puts something on the address, so it actually says Ashley and Georgie Poo on it. <laughs> yeah. And guys, McMenamin, he's an active member of our Facebook group. He's a family man, and he's just a fun dude to, you know, to talk movies with in the group, so yeah. Got a lot of tape, dude. Jeez, nothing's getting through this thing. Those little hands, you just can't. <laughs> I have like T-Rex arms. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Ooh. Oh. Just freaked Potter out. Ah. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We have, because he knows how to get me every time, with these little mini figures. I don't know who these oh, guys are. Are those the from mystery now. minis? These are mystery minis. He sent me three. This one is obviously the creature from the creature from the Black Lagoon, which I didn't have in my horror collection. I'm not sure who these guys are. Are these the supernatural ones, maybe? It might be. I'll ask you about them. Thank you. I'm always down to add new stuff to the collection. She loves these little little things, you know? And... This is awesome. Yeah. So he found a copy of Apocalypto at one of his used, you know, secondhand Goodwill stores or whatever, and was nice enough to send this to us. I've been looking for this for a while. Yeah, I mean, this movie is out of print at this point, and people are just asking ridiculous amounts of money for it. Look at this. Look at the inside of this. Yeah, that's back like when Like, it's got, like, the, the scene selections. This is awesome. You know, I've never seen this movie in its entirety. It's awesome. I mean, Mel Gibson's a freaking great director, so yeah. it's like... So, I love his work. So we are definitely excited to check this one out again. Dude, thanks so much. Thank you so much. Been looking you know, for it. And thank you for not charting us an arm and a leg for it. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you for not being greedy. And thank you for the little characters. I love these. You may not know what they are. Well, the well other I two. know this one. Yeah. I need him. Next up, we got another legend. <laughs> David freaking Clayton. Now, he sent us a big, but I think it's heavy. He put my name as Ashley Scarpelli. If you are in our group, you'll He's know He's another legend. Joke. <laughs> another another Who's legend. Kelly? <laughs> another legend, yes. Yeah, all right, go so ahead. Let's see what we got. Now, I will say, I gotta give a shout out to David Clayton. This dude knows so much about He the is a movie things. encyclopedia for yeah. a brain. He is just like. Um, if you have a question about anything, just ask him because he knows. Just ask him. He usually knows about the transfer. He knows about the directors. He knows about the director's pass. He knows about the actor's pass. He knows about the he special know, features. He knows how many times they've been arrested and what they've been arrested for. It's just... Yes, and I know that this is going to have some strange horror movies in it. Because yeah, that's his specialty. His specialty, you know, the exploitation horror, cult horror, He just recently horror. watched a movie I'm not going to say right now. But check out his Instagram feed. We'll get feed. flagged on Instagram. Check out his Instagram feed. Here. He definitely... <laughs> watched an interesting movie. It looked, you know, uh, oh, I'm not going to say it, but he knows what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go. You go, you'll grab one and I'll grab one. All right. So first up, we have Ninja 3, The Domination. Oh, this is a screen, screen factory. Fact, Ninja 3, The Domination. Yeah, this is going to be gold. This oh, is going to be gold. God. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what half of these movies are, but I'm always down to watch some oh, crazy boy. shit. So, you know. It Ninja sounds 3, amazing. It sounds amazing. He's the ultimate killer. She's the perfect weapon. Gotta read the tag. You can't lines. go wrong. With can't that. go wrong. Thank you for that. All right, go ahead. Next up, we got Ronan, starring Robert De Niro and Leon the Professional himself. Yeah, I we don't own this name. one. But 
Uh, this was a good movie. I, I saw it back in the day a long time ago. i never seen it. I have to revisit it. I don't know. I forgot a lot about it. This guy, he was, you know, Leon the Professional is great. Mm -hmm. And he was also in the best Godzilla movie out there. I just pissed everybody off just now. You realize that, right? Including David Clayton. The, Ma <laughs> the Matthew He's not going to send us anything. The ever Matthew again. Broderick Godzilla. Oh, God. All right. I'm not going to say it's the best. Don't. I'm just joking. But I think I like it better than the, than the, uh... Then the latest one with Brian Cranston and like that bad wig he was wearing. I I love the ninety eight I love the ninety eight Godzilla man running around in Madison Square Garden. That was just great. That but, just uh, sounds awful. Oh, you don't even know. That was a lot of fun, Roland Emmerich. But uh yeah, <laughs> that is Ronin. Alright, ready? Go ahead. Next up we have Nicolas Cage and Laura Dern in Wild at Heart, David Lynch. Another one that I have not seen. I like this that's, cover. That's a cool cover. I think that's the one that just got the uh it did get a shout, shout select, shout select, but I like this cover actually a little bit more. That's pretty cool. awesome. Thank you. We'll Another definitely one. check it out. Next up, we got <laughs> a Dario Argento film. We Asia. got oh a film. Okay, go ahead. Oh, it's his daughter's in it. Oh, Asia. Oh, this is the one with she just got in trouble for being <laughs> for with, for. Uh, <laughs> For like a sexual misconduct, right? What's her name? Asia Argento, a film by Dario Argento. The Stendhal, the Stendhal syndrome. I can't read, guys. <laughs> the Stendhal syndrome. Okay. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Oh my it, god. Yes. Um, I'm always down to watch some weird shit. Asia Argento, I know from Triple X. She was in Triple X with uh, Vin Diesel. Yeah. So we have well, yeah. this. Very excited. What is this one about? I mean, we've been. You've been definitely getting into the. Argento stuff. We have a few titles already, so this is yeah. a cool one to add. Yeah. Oh, she's following the trail of a sophisticated serial murderer slash rapist through the streets of Italy. I'm in. Sounds good. Italian horror, baby. <laughs> My people. Next up, <laughs> we got George A. Romero and Stephen King. Oh, creep show. Creep show. Classic, classic. I have seen. I have seen this. I just have not seen it in a very this is long awesome. time. We gotta watch. We gotta dig into these. This is oh, a yeah. good little box of cult horror right here. Mhm. Mm Thanks so much, man. All right, next up, man. How many more does this go? Oh, wait. This He's is got, a like, heavy four, one. Jeez, more. you're crazy, dude. All right, we have the last house on the left. This is the original one, I believe. Yes, this is the original one, which is great because I don't own the original one. I only have the remake, which I do. I. I don't say I enjoy the remake because nah, it's, it's not an enjoyable it movie. Tough to watch. Yeah, it does have some tough to watch scenes. Jesse Pinkman's in it. Yeah. But this one I've never seen, so I'm definitely excited. No, I guess I, as excited you can be to watch it. <laughs> so excited. Next up, we got. <laughs> Wow, um, Blue Underground. He sent us a few of these. Blue yeah. Underground. I'm not. I mean, I under. They're underground. Don't torture a duckling. Um, this just got an Arrow release recently. I, I can't think. say I know anything about it. I don't. I'm not. I won't but that's lie. the beauty of David Clayton. He's just like he opens your eyes to some good. To shit. some films you never thought would ever exist. So. Oh, look at the look at that disc. <laughs> oh yes. All right. I'm okay. I'm down. Down. That's like the phrase of this box. I'm down. You have to be down to watch these movies. Gotta be down. Ready? Mm -hmm. Next up, we got Alice Sweet Alice. I, I, oh, Brooke, Brooke Shields. Shields. This was, this got some kind of release. I remember Alice Sweet Alice. I remember this. Is it Screen Factory? Oh, sounds yeah. Look familiar. at those eyebrows. There's her eyebrows. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Brooke Shields. Nice. I've heard of this movie. I just don't know anything about it. I've definitely heard of it. It's definitely ringing bells. If you survive this night, nothing will scare you again. Oh, I'm, yeah. Guys, forgive us if you've heard of these and we have it because... Yeah, yeah, don't yell at us. There's a lot of movies out there. There's, There's a, a lot. lot. There's a lot. And... Oh, yes. Sorry, I gotta... Because I've been wanting to watch... Sick, sick, sick. I'm a sicko. Yeah, you are I've been sicko. wanting to watch this because he always talks about it, but Cannibal Holocaust. I know you probably... People are gonna be like, why would you ever want to watch that? Why Listen, would you? I watched the Serbian But this film. is one of, if you don't know, David Clayton. I know we've name dropping him like a hundred times, but... Yeah. This is his like favorite film, one of them, one of his favorite <laughs> films, so... You know, a lot of don't times when people ask for like, what movie should I watch? He always like throws in Cannibal Holocaust. Yeah, he likes throwing... Um, so you know. this is definitely one of the most controversial movies that's ever been made. I, I do know that recently his Serbian film is definitely up there as well. Oh, I will never watch that movie ever again. Oh, cool. um, but Cannibal Holocaust... What? I guess I could say I'm excited to check it and out. And now you're going to have to watch it. <laughs> well, now I definitely have to watch it. Well, I think we have a VHS in here. 
animated stories <laughs> from the Book of Mormon? The Living Scriptures. What? Mor Mormon and Moroni. What? Can I just say what the fuck? Is this 4K? Former director of Walt Disney Productions. All right. I mean, I saw the Book of Mormon on Broadway. I did not. It was the but... most expensive ticket I've ever bought in my life. It's a VHS. I'm sh there's got to be a story behind this. <laughs> Animated stories from the Book of Mormon, the living script. Is this one of those movies they would like pop in at like CCD? Obviously not Mormon stuff, but it reminds me of like one of those but, like. But David uh, Clayton, let me ask you: Are there like is like is there a weird scene where like a dick pops up or something? Because <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> what? Where did you find this? <laughs> he had it in his collection. He owns every movie known to mankind. <laughs> uh, is this getting some kind of 4K in the future? Let's just show this off, guys. We'll do an unboxing. Official unbox like that. That boom. I miss VHSs. I really do. Yeah, and now wow. We got two of them this was. Today. I'm not gonna lie, David. I, I thought you threw us some curveballs, but this is definitely the biggest curveball you've thrown us. But are we, are we, you want to just say the obligatory? Whoa, that's cool. Are we excited Sorry. to check it out? Yeah, I'm, excited, now I'm definitely, definitely going to find the VHS. To check it out. Oh, boy. I'm definitely going to find the VCR. Wow. I just want to show off this Cannibal Holocaust inside. That's awesome. Yeah, this movie's going to be fucked up. This, oh, this movie's going to scar me for life, I think. Oh, boy. That's cool. That's cool. All right. All right. So, guys, that's it. That's it. That's the end of this video. If you stuck with us to um, the end, thank you. And if comment down below if you've seen the animated stories from the Book of Mormon. Let us know if it's any good. We'd you know, love to hear you guys' reviews of it. And, you know, about all these other movies. Apocalypto, <laughs> Cannibal Holocaust, you know, all hey, of listen. these. Hey, you know listen. You know what you can take away from this video? I guarantee you there's not one movie related channel, not Blu-ray related channel, any kind of movie film channel out there that's ever had this like in it, mentioned in it. So So we're the first? I think we're breaking new ground here. So <laughs> thank you, David Clayton, for that, man. Holy yeah, hell. Yeah, I mean thank you to David Clayton, thank you to Michael McManaman, thank you to Mike Brizuardi, David Rosales. Patreons, viewers, all thank, of you. Just thank you. We're very thankful. <laughs> just know that. And guys, if you stuck with us through this whole video, you know, say what's up. Thank you. And we'll see you guys on the next video. <laughs> see you guys later.